been a rough start to the week sleep wise um, I have a lot to catch up on but for now I'm gonna finish my banana drink my creatine I'm gonna do a 50% basal um, I'll do a one unit bolus after I finished eating because I'm only 3.9 gonna get myself to the gym for a body day um, and then yeah I'll come back and do a debrief because it's been rough and there's a lot to catch up on. Back from the gym, oats are in the microwave. Um, my sugars were actually really really good during my session which is just what I needed this morning after everything that's been going on with my diabetes but we'll catch up on that later. Um, so I had my banana as you saw, I then didn't do my one unit of insulin until I was on the walk to the gym. Um, I waited for my blood sugar to go up a bit to 5.8. By the time I got to the gym, and I put on my 0% um, temporary basal, by the time I got to the gym I had gone up to about 9, so I turned my temporary basal off, I did 0 0.5 units of correction, um, and yeah, it doesn't eat on my Libra graph, it doesn't even, even show me going out of range because it came back down so quickly. Um, so that's fab, finished the session at 6.7 did my insulin on the way home like I normally do. I was having issues with hypos after eating, um, so I've kind of pushed that pre bolus a little bit shorter, um, and instead of doing my injection, well not my injection, my bolus halfway home, I now do it when I'm like three quarters of the way home. Um, I like to do it before I get, get in, because having that little bit of a walk while having a bolus on board helps it kick in a lot quicker, whereas if I waited till I got home, I then have to make my pre-bolus time a lot longer. Um, so yeah, doing it with just like an extra five minutes walk um, to go, get in, make the oats, eat, and I'm hoping that will kind of help balance out those post-breakfast hypos. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna eat my oats, and then after that I will catch up um, with you and let you know about all the stuff that's going on with my diabetes. <laughs> Okay, so now that I am fed, we can move on to the diabetes drama. Um, so if you've seen any of my vlogs really since I've had the pump, you'll know that I was having a few what I thought were teething problems. And what I have come to realise are just fundamental issues with the pump or the cannula um, that I'm currently using. Essentially, I keep having a lot of problems with the, sometimes with the reservoir, but the reservoir problems aren't too much of an issue because normally they will alert me and I'll know there's a problem and I can change it. Um, and that's fine. My main issue with that is that um, getting replacements of the reservoir can be a bit difficult. Um, but infusion site problems are happening all of the time for me. Um, and they're just really messing with my blood sugars. And obviously when you're having problems with the infusion site and the insulin isn't absorbing properly, it's really hard to then actually analyze your blood glucose data and find out what systems, what rates um, work for you when things are working normally. So I've had the pump now for about three or four months and I still haven't got all of my different systems um, planned out because every time I think I've got it planned, it turned out that there was actually an issue with my infusion site or something and it's, been causing me a lot of problems a lot of the time anytime I have any kind of high I don't know whether it's a problem with my infusion site or not um, and I think it's normal for people to have problems with their infusion sites with a pump it does happen but I'm having minimum one sometimes two or even three a week um, and it's a really big issue because sometimes it will happen as soon as I put the site on I'll start to go high and I'll realise it's an issue and, and that's fine I'll, I'll replace it and I'll have a couple of hours of high blood sugars and um, but sometimes it will be like them the, each infusion site is supposed to last for three days I change mine every two days to keep it as fresh as possible and because I was having problems from the get-go with infusion sites but sometimes on the second night so after 36 hours um the site will just go um so for example a couple of nights ago um i was just going up and up and up and up and up on nights on that second night um having put the new site on the morning previous um and it would not come down i was doing five units of correction temporary basils until i realized like the site had just gone for some reason um and so i changed the site in the middle of the night gave more correction and eventually came back down but by then i had ketones and so i needed loads more insulin and i still didn't get in range for a while um and yeah i was sat at like 20 for the whole night um until i till 3 a.m when i changed the site when i realized that was an issue um, also my Libra isn't giving me very many alarms um, because it 
with the Libra 2, I said this in my review, but it alarms you once you go high and then it won't alarm you again until you have a new high or low event. So you have to go back in range and then come out of range to get another alarm. So one thing I'm gonna do is charge my meow meow so that I can keep getting alarms if I continue being high. Um, but yeah, that's happening to me once or twice a week. And previously when I was on pens, I would go above 15 maybe once every two weeks, once a month, and I would I would hit 20 maybe once every six months. I'm now hitting 20 twice a week um, because of these infusion site problems. And not only is that obviously horrendous for my diabetes management, um, my time in target now is around 50%, it used to be 80%. Um, it's also making me exhausted, like not only do the blood sugar swings like physically exhaust me, but a lot of it happens at night. Um, and I'm just so tired, I haven't slept through the night. I think since I got the pump four months ago, I've had five, maximum five times where I've slept through the night with no alarms. Um, and even on pens or whatever, if I was getting alarms and you correct something once, then it's fine, it doesn't really disturb your sleep too much, but if you're getting, having to set new alarms for yourself to wake up, to check your blood sugars, if you're getting alarms and having to change your, your um, infusion site in the middle of the night, um, if you're that high, when I'm waking up that high, I'm so nauseous, I can't get back to sleep. Um, and I've got to the point now where I've had two really bad nights where, yeah, I had to do my site change two nights ago. Um, and then last night, like things just weren't going well at all. And I had several alarms. Um, I then couldn't get back to sleep because of a hypo. It's just exhausting. Like I'm constantly tired. I can't get anything done. Like my, I'm really inefficient at work. And I hate that because I really, really love my job and what I'm doing. Um, like housework, I, I feel terrible because James is like picking up so much of the slack because I have no energy. I ache like hell from the gym, yet I can't stretch because I just don't have the energy to stretch. Like all I can think about is sitting on the sofa and going to sleep and having a lay in and like just, yeah, I, I can't get off the sofa or the bed. Like I'm just exhausted, I'm so tired, even things that I want to do. Um, and that's like no way to live. And even things that I enjoy like the gym, I still get up and go to the gym but that uses up like all of my energy for the day especially when I'm like tired and then like the gym is my thing like I absolutely love it it's where I push myself um it's there for me mentally as well as physically and yet I can't push myself like I would like to um because I'm so exhausted or because I've woken up high from a bad infusion site, I then can't eat before a gym. Um, and obviously people do train fasted, but I prefer to eat before I go um, to give me more energy. And like, sometimes I can't do that and I'll go and I'll be feeling sick from a high blood sugar and I have to wait for it to come down. Um, or like last night, I was really high loads before bed um, and then I couldn't eat as much as I would like to eat. Um, like I track macros and I want to make sure that I'm fueling my body and I was really under yesterday because I just couldn't eat because of the high. Um, a couple of weekends ago I had quite a bad moment where I was really really high and it just would, would not come down during the middle of the day during a weekend and I just didn't eat for hours. Um, I know you probably should eat when you're high but I just couldn't think of anything worse than <laughs> risking sending my blood sugar up higher. Um, so I went on like a three hour long walk um, with no food um, and it was, I was in quite a, a dark mental space, like I just wanted the ground to swallow up, like it was, just felt like diabetes was too much, like it wasn't worth it, like I'm just gonna lie in bed and not move, not do anything, not participate in life, like it was, it was a lot, I felt really, really down about it, um, had a lot of tears, um, with James and... I just felt like it wasn't my life anymore, like diabetes is ruling my, like it's diabetes life and I'm just the character. Um, like literally Sims, I'm the Sim with diabetes, it's the person on the computer being like, this is what you're going to do now, because I just felt like all of these highs and lows were putting so many restrictions on what I could and couldn't do during the day, and I just don't feel like myself. Um, so, what I'm going to do is try a different cannula. So with pump I'm on the Roche Solo you can have nine millimeter or six millimeter cannulas I was recommended to, to use the nine millimeter ones because apparently that's what works best for loads of people um but I did look it up and the Omnipod has like very few bad reviews and the Omnipod cannula is 6.5 millimeters so I've ordered some six millimeter ones and I'm hoping they're going to come within a couple of days um and I'm hoping they'll make all the difference and they'll be 
what what the problem is um so yeah i'm gonna try those out i'm not gonna i have delayed doing my review of the solo pump because i've been having all these issues and i just want to check it's not the cannula um, and once i've used that for a few weeks and i've seen whether it's caused infusion site problems or not um then i will give my full review of it um i loved it at the beginning i think because it was new and it was the pump and i was so excited and when it works oh my god does it make day-to-day -day things easier like going on walks and exercising and that kind of stuff it makes life so much easier i absolutely love it when it works but when it goes wrong it goes really really wrong um and it just does that far too often on the current candidate that i'm on and there are quite a few people i think have similar feelings to me if you're using the rush solo there is a facebook group just type in rush solo micro pump um, it's got i think like one and a half thousand people in there sharing like tips and stuff um but i did post in there and i had loads of people reply to me saying like they've had issues with the cannula um and infusion sites and them not working um so yeah fingers crossed watch this space with the new cannula and let's hope it gets back to normal otherwise i don't know what i'm gonna do because i can't live like this like i i i cannot live like this um so yeah that's that's where my headspace is up with diabetes at the moment i'm quite close to burnout um i'm really really tired today it was one of those things where i had a hype i was high all night gave loads of correction finally it kicked in all at once um so i wake up at about three o'clock in the morning um and corrected well to be fair no i woke up at three and then i fell back to sleep like i scanned my blood sugar and then i was so tired this happens to me all the time now i'm so tired that i'll scan and before i can even eat anything i fall back to sleep um and then I'll, i was lay for like eight hours overnight at the weekend because i scanned um and then i just fell back to sleep because i was so tired um and then i woke up again like 45 minutes later treated the hypo but then i just the hypo just would not let me get back to sleep <laughs> um so but it was one of those ones where you've you've lost so little sleep that when you initially get up you feel fine so i went to the gym and then like half of the set through the session i was like oh my god i'm exhausted i am not gonna make it through this session but i was like, i'm here now i'm gonna finish it um so my plan is it's like half past eight now and i have flexi hours so i was thinking about calling in sick but i've never done that for diabetes and i don't want to start doing that if i can avoid it obviously if i do feel completely exhausted and it's ruining me then i'll call in sick but i just don't want to let it do that to me um so i have flexible hours so i'm gonna have a quick shower and then nap for like just over an hour start work at 10 and then just finish a bit later maybe cut my lunch break shorter or something um and just make up that hour a different way later so yeah that's the plan i'm gonna stop rambling now sorry this has been a really long intro um i'll try and keep the rest of everything short and sweet um but yeah i i'm just i'm just really tired and we'll see hopefully hopefully today goes well hopefully this cannula plays ball feel like a whole new person after that um sleep my eyes are still very dark um but yeah i actually feel a lot 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 better after going back to sleep for like an hour um it's now half 10 because I turned on my laptop at 10 um, after my nap to start work and my manager was calling me and I had a meeting with her apparently. Um, so I haven't yet checked my blood sugars post nap um, and we are 8.3. So very happy with that but as you can see it is going up. Um, I do tend to need to do a bit of a second bolus normal for breakfast anyway so I'm going to quickly do a unit now before I go high um, and then I'm going to get on with work so I've now got quite a lot to do this morning. <laughs>
about half an hour pre-bolus, normally I only do 10 minutes for lunch, but as you saw I was rising for some unknown reason. Um, but I have an omelette here um, with just cheese that James made for me, a load of vegetable sticks. I'm trying to like absolutely maximise fibre so that I know that won't be one of the reasons why I could be going high. Um, so hydrating loads and eating loads of fibre um, to rule out those as being reasons for kind of annoying blood sugars and then I'm having a packet of these um for some carbs as well so just like barbecue lentil chips I really really like these they're really yummy and then I'm also going to have um a couple of tangerines I always have for dessert so I've got my fruit got my veg my omelette and my crisps oh and I did um a split bonus because I will go on my walk after lunch that I always do um and yeah fingers crossed that in the afternoon things will be smooth I don't know what's going on. I'm now 17. Um, so I've just literally just got in just now for my walk. I checked my blood sugar around halfway on my walk. Um, so I always do that to see if I need any um, correction. Um, I've given myself four units, which is a lot of correction. Um, and finished my walk to get home. It's now 1.45. So I'm gonna give it till half two. And if it's not coming down by half two, I'm gonna change my site. Um, Cause yeah, I don't know what the problem is like this is the thing whenever i go high i now don't know is it just something that is just happening or is it my sight and it's really frustrating because then i i can't concentrate for the whole until i get it sorted and it's just so frustrating because i never ever used to spike like this on injections Ugh, okay so it's half two and i've scanned and i'm 18.2 um but the thing is it hasn't like it the graph looks like it's leveling off so i don't know if it is just that i need to wait a bit longer for the correction to kick in or if i should just cut my losses and do a site change um the thing is then i thing is i'm happy to just do a site change but then i will never know whether i could have done something better if i then go, go like back like go in range again um i won't know if i could have been doing something better to manage that to obviously avoid that spike or whether it was the fault of the site so if i change it too early i will just never know and so i can't learn um Whereas if I wait and it doesn't come down, then I'll know it's the site. I know I've done nothing wrong. Or if I wait and it does come down, then I'll know that in the future I need to, I don't know, do something. But I don't know if I'm just getting high spikes now because I'm so tired and I'm getting into like a vicious circle. I don't know. Um, so I'll give it literally 15 more minutes, which doesn't, which isn't a lot. Um, probably won't make too much difference. Um, but. Yeah, we'll give it 15 minutes and if it comes down even a bit then i'll know that um it's the correction kicking in and if it doesn't then i'll do a site change but i do have a meeting in 15 minutes so i might just have to be late to that okay it's half three and i'm 17.3 so it's been a while now um i did put on a temporary base for 120 percent it's only been on for like 45 minutes so i know it wouldn't have made like too much of a difference but um I just think I wouldn't be this high. Like yesterday I went low at this exact same time and I know I did a lower body session yesterday and I only did an upper body session today so it wasn't as intense and I also am a lot more, I'm really tired. Um, but yeah, I just can't, I just can't. Um, also I need to like change this tomorrow morning anyway. Uh, well, I changed it at three o'clock in the morning last time. So technically I want to change it at three o'clock in the morning again um, if I am to like keep it consistent, which obviously I wouldn't do. I was gonna try and like long it out until um, tomorrow morning morning. Um, I'm just grabbing my cannulas. Um, but yeah, I'll just change it now um, and hope that it comes down. And if it starts to come down quickly from now, then I'll know it was the site. Um, but also it's annoying because yeah, it's half three. Normally I get quite like peckish and I have like an afternoon snack and stuff. Um, but that's not gonna happen because I'm 17.3. I'm really, really, really tired and really fed up now. So infusion site has been changed. Um, I have done it on my stomach, which seems to be my most reliable site. Oh my God, yeah, okay, I have another scan and it's gone up to 19.4. So that, ha that has to be the site. So we're gonna put in a correction. I'm also gonna put on a temporary basil. Um, I'm gonna put on a temporary basil of um, 120%, just doing it now, um, over the next three hours to help flush out what the ketones that I will now have. Um, it's just so annoying to stay so busy and I wanna do a sleep. And then we'll do a bolus and see, see what it wants us to do. It's also super annoying. I um, 
was meant to be having a diabetes clinic appointment today at 2 p.m. It is now 3.45 and I've not had the call. Um, so yeah, great. I was gonna use that opportunity to have a real rant about these pumps, um, but I guess we'll have to wait and see and hold that for next time. So this is gonna not suggest as much correction as it wants because it thinks I've got insulin on board, obviously from previous doses, um, but clearly those doses have not been going in. Um, so it's saying minus 1.6, so I'm gonna add 1.6 onto this and then some more because of ketones. Um, so yeah, this will do, um, and I'm gonna try and not cry. It's now half five, um, which means it's been like, oh god it's dark um <laughs> it's been about i don't know like hour and a half since i did that correction i'm now 15.2 coming down from 19.2 so i don't know honestly whether it was the site or whether it was gonna start coming down around now anyway um but i have been stuck at 15.2 um for about 45 minutes now maybe a bit longer so it's sticking around there and it's got me thinking probably ketones honestly i reckon i probably would have had ketones twice a week um, for the past uh, couple months, um, which is not what I like to be doing. So obviously when we have ketones, it takes a lot more insulin to bring our blood sugar down by the same amount. Um, I've done lots of big corrections already today, as you've seen, but I'm gonna do another, I'm just gonna do a manual bolus, I'm not even gonna dry, like calculate it. I'm gonna do another four units now, it's half past five. Um, I've got a work, like after work conference for an hour till half six, and I would really quite like to eat some dinner then. Um, so I'm gonna do it now, hopefully that hour gives it time to like, you know, I'm gonna do five units, I'm gonna do five units so I want it to kick in really quickly um, and it definitely will not make me hypo before dinner. Um, and oh yeah, I just want the biggest chance of being able to eat ASAP, so I'm gonna do five units and then um, if I do start to drop, which hopefully I blew in well will, um, I can then just reduce my dinner dose um, and go on my walk after dinner that like I always do. So five units in and, oh, ready to go um and yeah let's keep the fingers crossed because yeah this week is so busy i've got so many after work appointments um i need to edit this vlog which i filmed like a couple days later than i planned um so i need to get this edited in time um and it's my brother's birthday at the weekend so and i'm also tired and sleeping all the time so that's not ideal but anyway i've got to go to this conference watch the conference from my bed because um diabetes has destroyed me today um it's now half six conference is done i would like some dinner um i didn't have my afternoon snack as i normally would um because of the highs so i've got a few more calories and macros that i need to make up and so instead of having homemade chips um we're gonna dip into our reserve of curly fries um so it's time to do the scan and see where we're at so 14.2 an hour ago i'm actually quite nervous to see this Nine point five and going down. Lovely little mountain there. Um but I never thought I'd be so excited to see that I'm still out of range, but I'm coming down fast. So it's gonna be a little just plugging the numbers into the pump basically. It's like eighty-five carbs in these um curly fries. Um, which is obviously quite a lot, but I have a lot of carbs to make up for today. Um, and I've been underperforming in the gym the last couple of days because I haven't been able to eat properly. Um, so let's get fueling. <laughs> From that 9.1, I then dropped really quickly, as you saw when I did my insulin for dinner. Um, my pre bolus ended up being a little bit longer than planned um, because of delayed timings from someone. <laughs> um, so I've just finished eating, but I've gone low already, um, having finished 
eating. Obviously with the rest of that split bolus on board, I still had about two units left to give. So I've canceled that because I do still want to go out on my walk. Um, and I'm going to drink a protein shake. So it's just oat milk blended with a banana and protein powder that I had made to have yesterday um, but then I could never eat it because my blood sugars never came down um, so yeah I'm gonna go to the fridge I'm gonna get that now and then I will go on our walk and then as we're walking I will obviously keep a close eye because I'll have um, some insulin left to take from dinner that I cancelled from the multi-wave bolus plus then obviously this I'm having uncovered now so that I can go on a walk um, and not go lower so yeah I'll drink this and then I've got one thing left to eat as like second dessert um, when we get home. So I didn't have any extra insulin on that walk because I was low the whole walk. So we're gonna do final scan um, before I end the vlog and I'm gonna have my final dessert, which is going to be a Belvita breakfast bar thing. Okay, so I'm 3.5, still low. So I'm gonna eat that straight away. Um, it's nice, obviously I just like being out of range. Um, higher or lower but it's nice to not be high and it's nice to be able to eat when I want to eat um so what I'll do is I'll eat that and then I will put in 3.9 into the pump um because it won't give me any insulin if I'm below 3.9 and um, put in the carbs and do whatever it says to be honest I'm not worried about catching up um the insulin that I cancelled from earlier because I think the carbs for curly fries weren't quite right um obviously I do still have that banana on board as well so I'm going to do some insulin now um and then I'll probably wake up. I'm really tired, so I'm gonna go to bed. Um, so, no, you know what? I will put in whatever insulin it says to the pump, and then I'm gonna add two units onto that and have it as a multi-wave bolus for that to come over the next two hours, because, yeah, I am aware that the only reason why I'm still low is because of that walk, um, and I do have to have carbs on board. I don't think, um, I think I'll have a bit of a rebound spike. Um, so that's the plan. I'm also, like I said, absolutely knackered, so I'm gonna go to bed straight away. Um, and I'm going to move my rest day around, um, have my rest day tomorrow. It's meant to be on Thursday. I'm meant to train legs tomorrow, but I'm gonna do that on Thursday instead because um, I'm absolutely knackered and I just need to take care of myself. But I can see the battery flashing. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. The Roche review will be up soon, as soon as I have the cannulas tried and tested. Fingers crossed they work well for me and I will see you in the next one.